Because people, it's people who do this for years and don't get half the success you got. I swear to God, no, that's true too. That's so, true So you too. understand how fortunate and blessed you are though, right? Mm-hmm. Real shit, like somebody done told me one time, like, it's actually somebody on my team. Nigga said, I feel like you you got signed on accident. I said, what? <laughs> like, what? That's crazy. Like, that is crazy. That's the reality of it. But, I mean, you still got to work for it. You exactly. know what I'm trying to say? You definitely have to work for it because, let me tell you, like, I feel like before I had my baby, I was playing with this shit. Like, I didn't, like, I took it serious, but then it was, like, to a certain extent. Like, once I really started getting them jobs and having to go on a promo runs and having to really put in this work for the music shit, that's when I was like, damn, like... Hold on now. Like, this is a lot. Like, it was a lot. Like, driving, like, across the whole South to go to this station, that station, that station, like, working and changing. Like, it was hella shit. And I ain't gonna lie. Like, once I got pregnant, I did start getting lazy and stuff. But then it's like, now that I had her, it's like, no. Like, that's my reason right there to really go hard with this shit. And I know I can do it. I was gonna ask you, like, what was the wake-up call? So when you had her... Did something happen that made you think like, yo, um, I gotta, because if I keep playing, I ain't gonna have this opportunity. No, yes, yes. W- what was sure. that? Um, one, it was almost like I felt like my team started giving up on me. Mm. Like I felt like they were like, all right, like you're not serious. But now it was like it was like almost like the boy who cried wolf. Like you keep saying, I'm serious, I'm serious, but you're still playing. But now when you're really serious, they like, no, bitch. like, mm-hmm. <laughs> like you're playing. But now it was like, no, nigga, like I got something to work for now. Like and then it's like. The lifestyle I was living before wasn't really fit for, like, for what I, you know? Like, I don't belong dead or belong in jail. So, it's like, I don't want to keep living that life no more. Mm. So, it's like, I'm dead serious. Like, I'm dead. Like, I'm telling, like, I'm dead serious now. Like, I'm ready to work. And even that's even if I got to prove it myself, if I have to go to these interviews by myself, if I have to go to these performances by myself, if I have to do a show by myself, I don't give a f- mm. I'm going to work regardless. No, that's dope. And you still signed. I'm still signed. So the fact that you're doing that by yourself is going to show that like y'all I'm really serious because even this saying. was independent. Well, Dolo. so to say, yeah, Dolo. Dolo. yeah, I thought, by myself, like yeah, I thought it was. You dope. know, I'm a work regardless. Like I'm a real born hustler. Like I'm never going to just sit there and just go around. Like you know how some people be like, damn, I'm on the show. You better work. Mm-hmm. You better work mm-hmm. and not no. You feel me? No shade to any other artist that's on the show, but I'm I'm I got a couple dollars, so I'm going to still do what I got to do. You feel mm-hmm. I'm not rich yet, but I still can invest in myself and still can shoot a music video if I need to. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. What I was going to ask you, um, when it comes to that, like the change in the mentality, the mindset, the, the mindset change or the shift in my mentality, do you think that's going to affect the music though? Because like you said, the music you, or how you was moving might not be conducive of, be conducive of being a mother. No, what I feel right now, I feel real, very, very vulnerable. Like when I got signed, right, I got signed with no music out. That's because the label heard all these labels heard my music that was real vulnerable. Me talking about deep ass shit before I got signed, that made them want to sign me. But then it's like once I got signed, you know how labels do. Oh, get in the studio with this producer. Get in the studio with that. And we're just all that shit you made. We're gonna make new shit and put that on the radio. So that's how that went. But now it's like I'm back in a vulnerable ass state right now. Like I just been going through hella shit. And it's like, I'm ready to release that in my music. Like, you know what now, I'm do you think the fans are ready for that? Because a lot of us, we like the, uh oh, we like, we like they a lot do. of, you, you they did do. a lot of, um, I don't know. You never going to know until you try. But one thing I do know is that my fans like to connect with me. Like, they like seeing me doing regular shit. Like, a lot of times, they don't, I notice they don't like me popping my shit too much because people can't relate to that. Mm. And that's, and you feel me? Like, I pop my shit and I show that because I thought that's what they wanted to see. But now it was like, no, like, I just posted a reel today of me showing what it's like to get ready as the mother and an artist. So it's mm-hmm. like, I'm doing my makeup, holding my baby. She started crawling now. I can't sit on the bed while I'm in the bathroom. I'm not putting on no dirty ass <laughs> floor. So now it's like, I'm holding her. <laughs> like, this is my real life. Like, I do this every day. Like, I'm holding her now. Like, the fuck? So, mm. yeah, I think they might like it. Are you nervous for it, though? Because you say they might like it, but it's like, that's still, that's a I whole really different thing. I don't give a fuck if they like it. Like, whoever, my fans who's going like to fuck with me, going to fuck with me for real. Like, I'm not, like, that's what it is. You're going to get what the fuck I give you. <laughs> mm. No, okay, hold up. Playing devil's advocate, just playing devil's advocate. Because, yo, you had, like, like, four or five, maybe six records that, like, bang. Mm-hmm. So what happens, you say you don't care, but I'm just, again, playing devil's advocate. If you put out this vulnerable music and it don't hit, like, your hardcore shit hit. You don't think that's going to fuck with you mentally? It's still going to be people that, like, like listen. Because I'm saying real shit that people can relate to. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So somebody, oh, I don't give a fuck if it's two people. They're going to listen to my shit and really understand. Them two people going to say, like, damn, like, I swear to God, I get messages every day. Like, yo, your music really helped me through. And I be like, what music? You talking about, uh-oh. 
uh oh, I ain't even talking about nothing. How that's helping you? But it's like if that's helping y'all through shit, when I'm really about what I really got going on, really going to help people, especially. It's a lot of mothers out here that feel like, oh, I can't do nothing. I'm a mother. I, you can't do what? Like, mm. I'm out here doing everything I want to do with my baby right there. No, I but then it's like a lot of times people can look down on you like, oh, you got your baby there. You got your baby. You feel me? Like, you bringing her around this. But it's like, shit, what the fuck? I'm going to leave it with somebody else and then not know what the fuck she around? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? No, I facts. I, uh, it's funny that you say that because as a as a, uh, a new father of a, a baby myself, I kind of like be conflicted with that too because it's like, bro, like, if I can't find a babysitter or anything, I'd rather have my daughter with me. I don't care. I like, don't play that shit, especially me as a child. Like, I don't went through a lot of shit. Like, a, a lot of shit. Like, like from being molested as a child and all of that shit. So, it's like, me having my baby with me, I feel so comfortable. Like, I don't mm. play that shit. Like, I don't give a fuck who you is. Like, I leave it with my mother, my grandmother, people that I was comfortable with as a child. But as far as... Me just leaving her with somebody off of care.com. No, I'm not with that. That's mm. dead as fuck. That's dead. <clears throat> I don't care. So I'd rather have her with me and I feel better. And she no, feel no. better too. She love me. And honestly, <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Like, it's, it's, I don't care. People might say, say what they want, but it's almost like a coping mechanism too. Cause like when you've been through so much, or like to have your child with you, I like, swear, man, this is what like, I, I wish I always had I for myself. I swear to God, yo, like when my daughter see me, like, I'll be up, like, for example, I was at um the studio house. My label. I had my baby on the um with someone on my label for like ten seconds. I literally went upstairs to go get something. She seen me. She ah. She started screaming like she loved me because she don't be away from me. So when she seen me, she be screaming. It's like I'm here. I'm not going away. Mm -hmm. I ain't gotta go to work for this amount of hours. Like my mother had to go to work. Like shout out to my dude. She had to go to work. I used to be missing the fuck out of her. Mm -hmm. And sometimes she want to go out. You God bless, bless you, baby. You. Sometimes she want to go out. She don't want to just go to work and just be at my mother's house. She want to go to the club. So now she at work. And she might go to the club on Halloween or something. Like, no, like I want to be with my mother. So the fact that I could be with her and I'm blessed to be able to do what I do and still have her with me, like, she going to definitely appreciate that. No, nah, facts. And another thing I don't, I don't be wanting to have, like, just people watching my kid because... I know that sometimes my kid get irritated and she cries. She might be hungry. She might need exactly. to change. And I know sometimes I can get overwhelmed, but that's my daughter. And I'm not. You exactly, know what I mean? Exactly. Like, but who knows what another person. Listen. Yeah. I don't listen. need you to be irritated with my kid. Listen, yo, that's that Baltimore shot. I swear to God. Because I swear to God. Listen, when when she be like with people and she's talking, I'll be like, just give it here. Because yep. I don't want you to act like you got an attitude with shit. Facts. Because I know how she start crying. So, bitch, don't act like you irritated with my motherfucking princess. This a real princess. Like, yeah. this a real living day princess right here. Like, nah, facts. I'm like, with seriously. you 100%. I, that's crazy. You said that. I thought that was just me. Like, like, when she get to, uh, uh, I give her here. Yep. Listen, you ain't going to ever act like you got motherfucker. Even her father sometimes be like, they're like, I'll call him. Eh, if she keep crying, I'm come, come, come yep. get her. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I had to learn that because, like, I mean, well, it's funny because, like, it, she's a baby, right? Like, yeah. she can't communicate. So I know I get irritated, but and I can communicate. Exactly. So imagine a baby get irritated. irritated. She can't even... You know oh, yeah, you talking about the baby? Yeah, she can't yeah. say anything. She you probably know managed like, bitch, my motherfucking back. Ain't you yeah, keep trying to put fucking bottle in my <laughs> right. mouth? So it's like, bro, no, nah, I'd, rather, I'd rather have my daughter, you feel me? Like, I don't know. Yes.